What's up? What's up, everybody? This your girl, Juicy Juice, in the building. So, guess what? This is your girl. Happy, happy Good Friday. Can y'all see me? Good Friday, everyone. So, how y'all doing? It's Juicy, Go Juicy, it's your girl, you know who I am, Go Juicy, Go Juicy, you know who I am, it's your girl, Go Juicy, Go Juicy, Go Juicy, you can't stop me, Go Juicy, Go Juicy, Go Juicy, you can't stop me, so, hey! How y'all doing today? Yes. Hey y'all. Hey. Happy Good Friday. So I wanted to say hello to everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your prayers. Just everything. I am out the hospital. The video that I posted was when I first went to the hospital. And I wanted to show everyone what state I was in. Um, how I was. And I, I was kind of bad, you know, and God brought me a mighty long way. Um, it's just that it was almost a time like 2005, you know, and I just wanted to say thank you, Jesus, for that. Um, it's a lot of stuff on my mind that I want to talk about today. But I want, I want to, first, I want to do this. I know all of you say, how can you do that and you cuss? How can you do this and you do that? How can you talk about God and you do that? Well, we not perfect. None of us is perfect. So, I wanted you all to know that, first of all, offhand, you know, and... It's like that, can y'all see me? Um, it, it's basically, I'm not perfect. I'm not. I'm not perfect at all. Nobody's perfect. Find one person in this world that is perfect. And then let me know what their name is and tell me who they is. Because I can't find nobody. I can't find nobody. So, what I wanted to do was, before I talk about my subject today, it was supposed to be, how well do you know your spouse? Because me and my husband, yesterday, <laughs> he think I don't know him very well. I know everything he does very well. And he know everything I do very well. So, he know when I'm trying to be spoiled. He know when he trying to be spoiled. I know when he trying to be spoiled. I mean, a whole lot of things, you know, that married people do, you know. But that's not going to be the subject today. So the subject today is, let me, let me do this. Like I said, I want to do this real quick. And before I do this, I want to, oh, here you come now. I want to... Just get, I want to say a prayer because for number one, no matter how many stones, rocks, sticks people throw at me, I'm here. I'm here for a reason. God got me here for a reason. So, Lord, Father, God, I come to you right now. Ask you for repentance of anything that I've done wrong, that I've ever done wrong in my life. 
Lord, you know that I am a grateful person for anything that comes around my way, across my way, and to my, to and from my way. You know that I am a person of God, and you, Lord, you already know, because you are the only God, and you shall not have any other idols before you, because you are a jealous God, and I know that. Lord, I just want to pray for the people that talk down on everybody, not only me, but others. Lord, I want the truth to come to the light. I want any and everything that is not of you and that is a lie that was lied on me, lied on my husband to come to light and show the truth that we are not those people. Lord, you know that only you can do this. Lord, you rose from the dead, and people do not believe that you did. Lord, you brought me out of sickness, not only once, not only twice, but four times. Lord, I want you to just protect everyone and their families as they sleep. As they go to and from work, as they go to wherever their destination is. Lord, I ask you right now to watch over them because I am not a hateful person. I hate no one. Love thy neighbor. That's how I do. I love everyone. Just like you love the whole world and you love us. You never leave us. We leave you, Lord. And I'm not leaving you. I have my flaws. Lord, you know, I cuss and I'm not supposed to, but I I do and I'm trying to stop, but I am not perfect. So I'm coming to you right now, asking you on this day, Good Friday, to watch over us and watch the words that I have in my mouth and that I say and I hope that no one gets offended for what I will that what will come out my mouth Lord only you know the truth and I the truth shall set you free so with that being said Lord I ask you right now to let the truth be set free. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. So y'all. Let's get into this video. So what I wanted to talk about is. Just how can people talk about you. Tell you what you need to do. And they not following their own situation or rules you can't tell if you single you can't tell a married person how to be married if you marry don't give a single person advice because that's just like you going back to your single days and thinking about it reminiscing back that's just my opinion but if you go to church on sunday and then don't nobody see you no other other day but you come back around on the holidays dressed up fancy and things like that but you try to tell somebody how to do their life who's in the wrong we all are not only me 
We all are. So I want to know, how can you live with yourself lying about somebody that you don't even know? How can you live with yourself and sleep at night about a person that never done no harm to you, never said anything bad about you, never said anything bad about any of your family or if you have family? I want to know how, how does that work? Really, how does that work? So, my thing is, I want to say, me and my husband came to Houston, Texas, December uh, 21st of 2017. Never got ran out of where I'm from. Let me repeat that. Never got ran out where I'm from. I came here to get my life saved. God said that wasn't the right route to go. So, I didn't get it done. Well, I did it on my own. With the grace of God. God told me in my sleep one day to wake up, start writing down this, when I woke up, I had a notebook and a pen next to me, and I started reading it. I started writing my own book in my sleep. Believe it or not, I started writing my own book in my sleep, and I'm almost done with it. I had quit writing in it September 22nd of 2018, but I'm almost done because guess what? I'm going to get my book. And I'm rewriting it so everything could be all the way in it. And then after that, my book is done. But I want to tell people this. No matter what happens in your life, people say, oh, I understand because drama happened to you and this and this happened to you and that and that happened to you. That's why you were eating like that. That's why you... Okay, let me, let me see this. All this weight is not water weight. Some of them... Some of it is because it's in my legs and my thighs. But my stomach area isn't. That's fat. And I admit it. But from my thighs down, that's some water weight. I got over almost, what they say, 175 to 200 in water weight? Babe? How, how much they say? It's been like almost like 100 and something. They say I got 100 and something pounds of water weight just in my thighs and legs. I came from 700 and 80 pounds to 560 and it's documented and I did it me and God and my husband did this as a team and we gonna continue to do it so all this that's going on It's nothing. It's nothing. Because guess what? God gives you no more than you can bear. And for the people out there that's in my situation or more, you can do it. You can do it. Forget what everybody else say. You have no friends. None. Because even some of your family might be fake. You have no friends. Because guess what? You can't trust everybody. And I had to learn that because I was the kind of person when I was younger. 
I used to buy my friends. And I had to learn as I got older. When I went to high school, <laughs> everybody knew me as Elmo. That was my high school nickname, Elmo. Because I liked it red and I'm always laughing. So not only Juicy Juice, Juicy Juice came a little bit after that. But Elmo was my high school nickname. And I was a love person. I'm a love person now. So it's nothing to just be yourself. Be yourself. Because if you don't be yourself, then... Who you gonna be? You gonna be like the next person? You gonna follow her and jump off the bridge? You gonna follow him and drive down and slide on somewhere? You gonna say bark when somebody say bark? I don't think so. Not I. Not Juicy Juice. Honey, no. Not I. So, I wanted to tell you that no matter what obstacles you go through, God got you. It don't matter if you cuss. It don't matter if you act a fool. Just show God that you know who he is. And ask him to help you and guide you along the way. And that's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. My family back at home is me and my husband. And guess what? We here still. We go home anytime we want to. And mom was like, no, I'm just going to come visit you all when I can. But people keep on saying, oh, they running and fried this and fried that. I could have swore I did a video said I got in trouble one time hanging with the wrong people. And the judge dropped it because they caught the people. So, yes, I got locked up before. And God got me out that situation. And ever since then... I ain't been in it. I ain't been in trouble. Because guess what? I ain't got friends. You you say you my friend and then what? Turn and turn back to somebody else or do something and set me behind my back? I don't think so. My mama has always been a loner. She taught me to be a loner, and I never knew what a loner was until I got here. Now, I'm a loner. Like I said, I ain't got friends. I got associates that I see, hi, and bye. But other than that, mm -mm. You, you, you can't have a lot of people in your circle. But as they say, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. Because let me tell you, they're going to tell on themselves anyway. God is going to let it come to the light anyway. So that's what I wanted to talk about. That, that's what I wanted to talk about for this video. Got another video I want to do. But this video, I just had to get this off of my chest. I, I had to get it off of my chest because you can't be friends with everybody. And I see that. And it's a shame because you see everybody else sticking together. Especially in the world and the economy that we stay in right now. Everybody's sticking together, but then when it comes to us, what are we doing? We being jealous, 
hating and just not liking each other and for what we got the same parts some might be bigger than others go for male or female I mean there is genders because I'm not going to leave them out. We are all made equal. And people don't understand that. So when are you going to understand we are equal? We have nothing to hate on. Just because you might got a job yesterday. Okay, your blessing is coming. Wait on it. Don't be jealous because this person got a job yesterday and you've been looking and you could have got that job. That might not be the job for you. That might not be what God want you to be. So wait on it. Be patient. That's all you have to do. But like I said, I'm done for this video today. I hope y'all liked it. So this is your girl, Juicy Juice. And I'm always in the mother building. So, I holla.